Turbo Dude here, and I'm doing a little quick video, uh, kind of an update to my last uh, dual streaming setup um, demonstration. Uh, what I'm hoping to do now is help people that are struggling to get this going, because there's been a few people on my stream and on YouTube asking me about how it all works and whatnot, so I'm going to try and be a little bit more concise than I was with my of a video. So assuming you have a vague idea of what you're doing with uh, OBS and whatnot, I will quickly demonstrate once again how this works. So on my right here, have the gaming PC and on the left, the streaming PC. Now, if we go around the back, this is how my setup works. So the white HDMI cable to DVI converter is coming out of my graphics card to my main gaming monitor, the big one. This grey one is going to my secondary PC, the streaming PC, and it's going in the HDMI in port, and it's taking all the video and audio information. Now, I find that sometimes, or quite often, oftentimes, the audio is a bit sketchy with the uh, Ava Media Capture Card, so I use a 3.5mm jack going into the in, and on the out, on the PC, uh, to both PCs, so that it's capturing the information, uh, the audio information coming out of the gaming PC. Now, in order to hear your gaming audio that's happening over here on your uh, gaming PC, you need to do one of a couple of things. One thing is to have a um, analog headset with the old style 3.5mm jacks for microphone and audio, and then you can just split the audio into two separate streams and then send one to the streaming PC, and then one obviously for you to listen to on the gaming system. Now, the method I use is a little bit easier, but comes with its own set of issues. Now, what I do is quite simply this. When you use the stream engine so that it works with OBS, just make sure you're not using HDMI because it can be a bit buggy. So use the audio in. This is my usual setup right here. So that's all that sorted. Now, when you go into OBS, And we come down here. Now here's the Ave Media Capture. Get that to all open up. Now, so here's all the settings within here, but the important thing is, is this section over here. So if you now output your audio to the desktop, what it's copying uh, to stream with, instead of having the audio just go to the stream, it'll now come into the desktop and to the stream. So what you get is, when I preview this, is you see, I have audio coming through and the microphone as I talk. So now we have an output from this. So if we were to uh, listen on this headset, we should be able to hear something. Now, I've turned the volume down on here. This is where it gets fiddly where you have to mess around with some different audio settings so it sounds just right for you. So if I load that back up, you can see in there we've got audio and if we listen into the headset, you might be able to just about hear that, that audio there. Now the only thing that can be a problem that I found, and I'll try and again be quick about this, is that there is a tiny little bit of audio feedback, just like a very, very slight background hiss. Now the easiest way to cure it is just to turn OBS is audio down just a little bit, maybe to like 40, and you'll barely be able to hear it, especially if you're doing something. The only time you'll hear it, the stream won't hear it, but you will, and it'll be just a very, very slight hiss in the background, just like a something like that and it's not too bad you could you could put up with it uh, at least until i've got the money to buy a, a different kind of headset so you have your usb headset plugged into the streaming pc at this point and then you can output the audio sorry my phone was flashing then so you can output the audio from obs to the desktop and then you can hear it and then you just have to have your uh, headset plugged into your streaming pc and then it'll all work completely fine another quick thing to mention is when you go on to um, your playback devices here, you need to make sure that both the properties in advanced 
is the same as what's coming from the streaming system, as from the gaming system, sorry. So if you've got 16 bit 4800 DVD quality like I do on the gaming rig, you need to make sure it's exactly the same. So yeah, just always make sure it's exactly the same. And make sure you don't get any uh, random audio glitches because if it's different, you might find it has a very high pitched wailing or fails to work completely. So yeah, make sure both are the same. And I'll just do that on here as well, just to uh, make sure it is, and it should be. Yeah, DVD quality, just making sure. Uh, another important thing is, obviously, if you are recording with HDMI, you will need to change your uh, output options in here as well, as you'll get, get no audio if you use HDMI. So make sure to do that. Uh, any other useful things? If you're going to do what I was just saying about the uh, analog headset, you just need to go into your options for your uh, onboard audio. Now, to make sure you you do this right, you're probably going to have to check out with your manufacturer um, what their settings are. But in my case, it's Realtek HD, and do, 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 do. yeah, playback device. There's make front and rear outputs playback two different audio streams simultaneously so you get two things and separate all input jacks as independent input devices just make sure those are checked so you can split everything a hell of a lot easier uh, the other thing you could do is stereo mix but I've never done that so you would have to google up on uh, how that works but yeah guys in a nutshell that's how you do it that's how you get the audio it's uh, not perfect but it is one way of doing it and uh, that's what works for me. So if anyone's having any audio trouble, then uh, I hope this helped a little bit because um, it was a nightmare trying to do it. Thanks for watching, guys. See you on the stream or in another YouTube video.